An eight-letter word. The clue is they can eat you out of house and home. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Flurry. All righty, thank you, Charlie. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the television version of everybody's favorite game. Going to meet our Scrabble Sprint champion right now. Her name is Mickey Shevitt. Hey, Mickey. How are you, honey? Hi, how are you? Good. I'm fine, thank Good. you. Mickey has one win. She's collected $2,500. And in just a minute, she's going to meet one of these two players right here. Charlie? He's a manufacturer's rep. She's a student. Originally from London, England, John Hooper. And originally from Pocatello, Idaho, Whitney Dolvin. Hi, John. How Chuck, are you? How are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks. Says here that you're an organic gardener. Yes. Yeah. Avid one. Uh, what use, is an organic gardener? Somebody who uses the natural products to put back into the soil to grow more produce. Oh, I see. So, so no, no chemicals, vegetables. no nothing. Pardon? No chemicals, no, no nothing. No herbicides, insecticides, no. or anything else. Just to go in good your old uh, compost. Oh, good. Nice to have you with us today. Thank you. Chuck. Nice to be Hi, here. Hi, Whitney. Hi. How are you, honey? Fine. How are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, tell me about yourself, Whitney. I attend UCLA, live in Westwood, love outdoor sports. And just your All the things that Southern yeah. California girls should do. <laughs> yeah, nice right. to have you with us today. Thank you. Who won the toss backstage? I did. You did? Let's go to the board. We're going to play Scrabble. We're going to play until somebody gets three words right. And that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They'll have a chance at 40000 in cash. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. Building on the letter N, there are nine letters in the word. And the clue is people who need people. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares. People who need people. Okay, I don't have a guess. So I'll take two tiles. Number two and number four. L and an N. Which do you want to try? I'll take the L, please. Five hundred dollars, if you can tell me right now. It's a little soon, I guess, but people who need people is the clue. No, I don't have any idea. No? No. Okay. I'll take the N. Two N's in a row. People who need people. I still don't have a guess, so I'll take number five and number six. You got a B and an A. I'll take the B, please. Nope. People who need people, it all works. I have no guess. I'll take the A. People oh who need gosh. people with three in a row. Um, I still don't know. Okay. okay. Two more tiles. Number 11 and number one. An R and a T. I'll take the R, please. Stopper, over to you, John. Boy, she went a long time, though. Yes, people indeed. who need people is the clue, John. Any idea? Uh, not quite. I'm going to take well, a couple of I don't either. I can't figure it out. I'm going to take the 10 and Oh, just one, John. Just one. Hold on I'm to that. Sorry, I'm sorry. Put it in your best pocket. The 10. Okay, A and a T. I'm going to take the A. One already shown. Let's see if it works. That does. People who need people. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, still not quite. I'm going to take the 9. No, no, no John. You I'm must sorry. use that T there before you I'm sorry. It. I'm going to take the T. Okay. And that's a stopper. That's important. It's back to you, Whitney. People who need people. You got this one yet? No. Oh, I got it. I'll take number three <laughs> and number nine. You have a C. Have an S. I'll take the S. Okay. You look like you smell something, Whitney. What's no. wrong? I mean, <laughs> people I'm who need me. people. Any idea? No. Well, I better take that C. I'll take right? that C. Okay. We'll give you the last letter. People who need people. Ah. Cannibal. Cannibal, yes. Got it. <laughs> well, right down to the last rung on that. I mean, really. Okay. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, All righty, we're back. John, let's go to the board, okay? Building on the letter A in cannibals, there are six letters in the word. The clue is sign language. Sign language. Not a clue, Chuck. Okay. I'm going to take two tiles. I'll take the eight, and I'll take the six. Have a V and an L. I'll What's take the like V. Stopper. No, over to you, Whitney. Okay, I don't have a guess. I'll take one more tile. The one. Sign language. V and an L. I'll take the L. Don't know, so I'll take the B. Second stopper. John, only one stopper left out there. Sign language. I is the clue. cannot guess, Chuck, so I'll take two tiles. The five and the four. N and an O. I'll take the O. 
$500 if you can tell me what it is right now in that blue square, John. Sign language. No, nope. doesn't come to me. Sorry. I'll take the N. Okay. Sign language. Nope. Sorry. I'll take the three and the two. S and a G. Now, you must use one of the letters before you... S. Okay. Slogan. Now, tell me. Slogan. Slogan, exactly right. Yes. All tied up one to one. Let me back to the board. Here we go. Building on the letter L and slogan, eight letters in the word. The clue is, it's a good idea to treat them right. It's a good idea to treat them right. No idea. I'll take number 10. Okay. And number 6. I and an M. I'll take the M, please. It's a good idea to treat them right. No, I don't have any idea. I'll take the I. $1,000, Whitney. Tell me what it is right now. It's a good idea to treat them right. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'll take two and nine. E and a G. I'll take the G, please. Stopper, over to you, John. It's a good idea to treat them right is the clue. I don't get it, Chuck. I'll take the eight and the five. E and a T. I'll take the T. It's a good idea to treat them right. I'll take the E. Nope. Four in a row. Uh, sorry. I'll take the four and I'll take the one. Uh, just one. Just I'm one. sorry, the four. You got a K and an S. I'll take the S. Okay. Uh -huh. 1,000 bucks, John. You're well along into the word. It's a good idea to treat them right. Do you know what it is? Want to take a guess? No. Nope. No? Sorry. Okay. Got to go with the K, then. I'll take the K. That's the second stopper. Whitney, it's over to you. Only one stopper left. It's a good idea to treat them right. No, I'll take two tiles. Number one. And number seven. A C and an A. I'll take the A, please. It's a good idea to treat mm -hmm. them right. Ailment. Ailment, that's it, yes. That was not easy. That was a very difficult word. Really hard word. Okay, John, back to the board. Here we go. Building on the letter N in ailment. Six letters in the word, and the clue is sometimes they're illegal. No, oh, sorry. I'll take two tiles. The seven and the four. M and an H. I'll take the M. Stopper, over to you, Whitney. I'll take a tile. I'll take the two. P and an H. I'll take the H. Stopper, back to you, John. Only one stopper left. Sometimes they're illegal. It still doesn't come to me. I'll take the six and I'll take the oh, one. Just one, John. I'm just sorry. one. P and an L. I'll take the P. That's the third stopper, Whitney. Okay. Do you have any idea what this is? I might think be? so. You do? You yeah. want to try it? I do. Okay, tell me. Aliens? Aliens. Sometimes they're illegal, and that's it. One, two, three. You know, the funny thing about it was, there was never a letter put in there. You guys hit one, two, three stoppers. All right, off the yeah. top, so it was right where it was when it left. I guess, I guess the end was in there, though, wasn't it? Party gifts, uh, Char John, want to thank you, and Charlie's going to tell you about one. John, for you, we have chocolate. The chocolatey aroma Boy. of Toblerone can capture your senses. A magical mix of Swiss chocolate, milk chocolate, crushed almonds, and honey nougat. This three-foot chocolate bar is furnished by Chocolate Tobler. All right, John. Get some chocolate to you. Chocolate Couldn't you come to a better person. <laughs> Thanks, John. Well, thank you. Whitney, come on down. You have $500 for the game. You're going to get a chance at $1,500. And we'll do that in just about one, two minutes and two seconds. We'll be right back. to Scrabble and Chuck Willery. Thank you, Charlie. Whitney Dolvin has $500. She's going to challenge uh, Mickey Shevitz. Mickey has one win, $2,500. They're both going to play for $1,500. Uh, they play the same three words, the best time wins. And Mickey, if you want to go over there, they'll put you in earphones so you can't hear or see anything Whitney and I talk about. Remind you to hit your plunger because that's what stops the clock. Don't do it out of nervousness because it costs you 10 seconds if you don't know the answer, okay? Okay. There are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Everything you see will play. 
clock will start when we pop in the first two letters at the bottom of the screen. You choose one of those, the other one goes back into the shuffle. All right. Here we go. First word, six letters. It was a novel idea. <laughs> Ready? Mm hmm Go. G. S. H. It was a novel idea. O. Shogun. Yes. Second word. Seven letters. They're thin-skinned. Hmm. Okay. Go. C. P. E. They're thin-skinned. S. H. They're thin-skinned. Peaches. Yes. Third word, eight letters. It's a running battle. Okay. Ready? Uh-huh. Go. A. T. R. It's a o running M battle. N. H. It's a running battle. Marathon. 25.9. 25.9. What do you think? We don't know. We'll see. We don't know. We'll see. Okay, we will. 25.9 seconds, Mickey. Here we go. First word has six letters. It was a novel idea. Ready? Go. G. H. N. It was a novel idea. U. Shogun. Yes. Second word, seven letters. They're thin-skinned. Ready. Go. C. H. P. They're thin-skinned. S. E. They're thin-skinned. Peaches. Yes. 5.7 seconds to complete the last word. It has eight letters. It's a running battle. Ready. Go. T. A. O. It's a running battle. R. Uh, marathon. Looking for marathon. You got it, Whitney. Yeah. See, it did work. It wasn't a time. 1500 add that to five. You got $2,000. Congratulations. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, Mickey, Marathon's what got it for you. I don't know. I, she did pretty well on Peaches, too. I think she got that one about the same time, uh, or a little bit quicker. And the first one, I think she got a little bit quicker, too. So it set you up with not very much time for the last word. But you're going to leave us with $2,500. Great. Thanks. We're going to take a break. Come right back. Stay with us. Ah, Whitney's doing good. Making money, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. I know. She's going to meet one of these two folks in just a minute. Charlie? She's an art lover. He's a marketing analyst. Originally from Staten Island, New York, Claire Dicker. And originally from New Haven, Connecticut, Craig Pedersen. Hi, Claire. Hi, Chuck. How are you? Just great. Thank you. Good. You just recently sold your business. How yes. come? I used to have a linen rental company, and now I have time to pursue the things that I really love to do. Which is? Going to art galleries, museums, artist studios. Oh, nice. Lots of fun. Oh, nice for you. Nice to have you with us today, Claire. Thank you. Good luck to you. Hi, Craig. Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself, Craig. Well, I'm a marketing analyst. Um, I collect dragons. Um, dragons? Dragons of all sizes and shapes. Brass, gold, particularly like the gold ones, but they're a little expensive. I guess they are. Yeah. Why do you collect these? Uh, uh, cold, scaly, reptilian things have always appealed to me. Craig. <laughs> Who won the toss? I did. <laughs> okay, Claire, let's go to the board. I have no idea where to go with that. <laughs> Building on the letter E, eight letters in the word. The clue is they can iron things out. Okay. They can iron things out. I'll take a three and a five for the 35 years I've been married. Okay. You want to drop those into that oh. little slot in front of you there? Oh. And a five. N and a D. Which do you want to try? I'll take the N. They can iron things out. No clue. Uh, the D. Stop or over to you, Craig. They can iron things out. I have no idea, Chuck. I'm going to take the one and... Take another letter, please. Another letter. I'll take the six. E and a T. This I'll take like the T. Okay. Stop or over to you, Claire. Okay, I'll take the ten. And the nine. No, no, just one. Just one. Oh. Put the nine back. There you go. Okay, because you have a C to work with yes. as well. E and a C. Uh, I'll take the C. 
first position in the word, they can iron things out. I'll take the E. They I think I know out. what it is that I'm going to go for. Okay, I'll only one take stopper left. the nine and the eight. Trying for that $500. I'll square. take the L. Okay. They can iron things out, 500 bucks. Cleaners. You got it, yeah. Nicely played. <laughs> Why everybody's playing this game a lot better now, you know what? Just in the last few months, I noticed everybody's got a little more strategy worked out on, on how to get to the 500 and the thousands. Well, that's why I sold my business. I can stay home and watch it more. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Building on the letter N in cleaners, Craig, back to the board. Seven letters in the word. The clue is what small arms can be used for. What small arms can be used for? I have no idea right now, Chuck. I'm going to take the three and the six. H and a G. I'll take the G. What small arms can be used for? I got this one. Still have no idea. I'll take the H. $500. If you can tell me what it is, Craig. What small arms can be used for? Well, you got to know this. You don't? Oh. Still I'll try turn. again. I'll take the four and the seven. A T and an I. I'll take the I. Five hundred dollars, if you can tell me now, Craig, what small arms can be used for. I'm probably going to hate myself, but I still don't know. I'm going to take the T. Probably still thinking of those lizards, aren't you? <laughs> Whoops, stopper, over to you, Claire. So what okay. small arms can be used for. I'm going to take the five and the nine. C and a G. Which would you like to try? I'll take the G. What small arms can be used for? Hugging. Yeah, that's got it. <laughs> Unfortunately, obviously, there are three Gs in there. You'd have had to put in all three of them to get that last one. Right. You just couldn't do it with the C as being a stopper, so that was well played. Craig, over to you. Here we go. Building on the letter U and hugging. Nine letters in the word. The clue is they can really bug you. They can really bug you. Okay, I don't know yet, Chuck. Let me take the seven for luck <laughs> and the 11. Oh, well, you got an O. I think I'll take the O. Good idea. $1,000. They can really bug you. No. I don't either. No idea. I'll take an O. They can really bug you. I'm afraid I still don't know, Chuck. I will try the three and the six. T, S. Which one? I'll take the T. They can really bug you. I cannot figure this out. I still don't know. I'll take the S. They can really bug you. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, yes. Oh, I could not get that to save my life. Craig, back to the board. Building on the letter O and mosquitoes. Six letters in the word. The clue is... It's usually at the end of a sentence. Okay, I will take the four and the seven. Uh, P, please. I've got to be... I've got to know this. Come on. It's usually at the end of a sentence. Um, no, don't know. I'll take the L. Tell me. Parole. Parole, that's exactly right, yeah. Why is it when you look at the, I'm looking at this word, and I'm thinking to myself, a period is at the end of a sentence, right? Did you all do that? Well, it didn't even work. <laughs> oh, well, Greg's smarter than we were. Two, two, tie, we're in a speed word situation. Put your hands on your buzzers, wait till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. When you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Building on the letter E in parole, seven letters in the word. The clue is collectors often look for them. Collectors often look for them. Ready? Go. Collectors often look for them. Tell me, Claire. Debtors. Debtors, that's exactly right. You got it. One, two, three. Well, Craig. We got a great big, great big Toblerone <laughs> chocolate bar. 
One of those great big things that are going to just make your eyes pop out when you see it. And <laughs> we have some nice parting gifts for you along with that. Thanks, Craig. Thank you. Claire, come on down. Claire's got $500 in uh, bonus money. She has $500 for the game. She's going to get a chance at $1,500 in Scrabble Sprint. And uh, Claire, <laughs> Claire, <laughs> Claire just taking her time. We'll be right back. See you. <laughs> Well, uh, we don't have enough time to play Scrabble, Trent. Just got enough time to chat for a little bit. Anybody got anything to say? This has been fun. Oh, good, Claire. <laughs> We do have a good time here. I agree with you. We're going to play Scrabble Sprint tomorrow when we open our show. We'll be on our 400th show tomorrow. All right. Can you imagine that? Great. It's been here 400 days. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Some members of our studio audience and some departing contestants will receive an assortment of products from this Sunday's Super Bowl coupon insert featuring Velveeta. There's no single cheese like Velveeta. And Glad Sandwich and Trash Bags, the number one bag, so why take chances? Buy Glad Sandwich and Trash Bags. Plus, better cheddars, delicious real aged cheddar in every single bite. Look for these products in this Sunday's Super Bowl coupon insert. And Waltech Hand Shower. Shower yourself with comfort with the adjustable energy saving spray at hardware and home center stores. Walt Chuck Woolery's wardrobe furnished by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword games. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scrabble is a Red Grammy production.